Tonight, a retired police chief living in Surfside Beach now back home recovering from a car accident that left him in the hospital for six months. Ronnie Roberts and his wife Becky are adjusting now to their new normal while working towards making their home more wheelchair accessible. News 13's Taylor Hernandez shares this story tonight on the South Strand. Ronnie Roberts dedicated his career to public service, at one point serving as the police chief for the University of South Carolina's police department. After his retirement from law enforcement, he worked for Horry County Schools for more than a decade until an early morning car accident changed the trajectory of his life. Through it all, though, Ronnie says he still believes God has a plan. Ronnie Roberts doesn't remember much about the early morning hours of March 6th. No, there was deer and uh tried to avoid them and then uh, lost control of the car, hit a tree and uh, totaled my car and, and I don't know, after that I, I was out. The damage turned out to be a whole lot more than a totaled car. Ronnie needed surgery, seven of them to be exact, to repair his neck, broken bones in his face and bruising to his spinal cord. I have no feeling boy in my chest area except some sensation of a touch but I can't feel or move. Anything blowing my chest. After a 12 day stay in a Columbia hospital, Ronnie was transferred to one of the nation's leading spine care centers, Shepherd Center in Atlanta, where he stayed for six months until this past week. What's it like being home? It was great. <laughs> Ronnie's new normal includes physical and occupational therapy, doctor's appointments from here all the way to Mount Pleasant, and a whole lot of help from his devoted wife, Becky. They recommended she put me in a nursing home, and she said she would not do that. She went down to Walmart and bought a, a blow-up, like a camper bed, and put it beside my bed and slept there for six months. I don't know what else you could ask of a person. And what she has done. While Ronnie works toward his goal of walking again, the Roberts family hopes to update their home to make it easier for him to get around. You can find a link to the family's GoFundMe in this story right now on WBTW.com. Reporting in Surfside Beach for News 13, I'm Taylor Hernandez.